What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the DC One Box, a part of the DC series on Vonhub. Let's get into it. All right, first off, let's go ahead and read the box's description on Vonhub. So it says, DC One is a purposely built vulnerable lab for the purpose of gaining experience in the world of penetration testing. And down here it says, there are multiple ways of gaining root. However, I have included some flags which contain clues for beginners. There are five there are five flags in total, but the ultimate goal is to find and read the flag in the root's home directory. You don't even need to be root to do this. However, you will require root privileges. So there are five flags on this machine. We only need to get the root flag, but this, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go through all five flags. Of course, everything is time stamped in the description bar down below. So definitely skip around if you want to. You can skip to flag three, flag two, or even the root flag if you want to. With saying that, let's get into today's video. So first thing we're gonna do is of course create the directory. Do like this right here. We'll call it DC1. And then IP address 192.168.0.119. There we go. Okay, this tool I just used is gonna be called recon.sh. It's gonna be my GitHub in the description bar down below. You can definitely go check it out. It's a pretty straightforward, simple, automatic tool for automating recon. It uses nmap and ff and also creates the notepad for me right here. It has my notes with the now noted credentials and the IP address right here already saved because they've given it to you before. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and look at our in-map scan. So for the in-map scan, we see a port 22 open right here, and we have port 80 for HTTP. Looking at that, we have Drupal 7, so we're gonna go ahead and note that down right here because that's the CMS. Drupal 7, put that right here actually for noted. Drupal 7, call that the CMS, note that for later. And we see scrolling down here, we have the robots.txt page with 36 disallowed entries. That's a lot of disallowed entries. So you have things like slash include, slash miscellaneous, slash modules, slash profiles, and so on. And scrolling down, we see a port 111 open for RPC bind. That's cool. We'll note that for later, but probably not going to come back to that, honestly. And then down here, we have FF going off for the directory enumeration. So we see have search, miscellaneous, zero users, modules, themes, scripts, admin, nodes, sites, search, includes. A lot of subdirectories coming back to us right now. But for the sake of time, let's go ahead and look at that Drupal 7. Let's go to search ploit and launch that up. Search ploit. There we go. Drupal 7. Let's see what we have there. So looking at right now, the first thing that catches my eye is the Drupal Gen 2. RCE. So we see in looking right down below it, we have a Metasploit ability to use that. So let's go ahead and launch up MS console. There we go right there. Type that in. Go ahead and copy Drupal 2. There we go. Wait for that to launch in the background real quick. See if we can get a quick RC on this. Go ahead and search. So I can type right. Search. There we go. So we're going to use use zero. Then we're going to go ahead and show options right there. Let me go ahead and make it easier for you all to see. Show options. There we go. So the only thing we're gonna need to add here is the R host, which would be the machine for like the remote host. So we set R host, call that 192.168.0.119. Press enter right there. We'll go ahead and control L and we'll press exploit right there. There we go. So it says started reverse TCP handler on my IP address right here. Execute, executing automatic check, disable auto check, auto check to override. All right, so it says the service is running but cannot be validated. Hopefully, this still is going to go through and get that RC on that machine. So that'd be really simple. Keep the process moving. Let's go ahead and check back on our actual scans. So we see FF is going really fast, finding a lot of subdirectories for us. That'd be really nice. Let's see if this is finished yet. Not finished just yet. We might be able to go ahead and look at that Drupal site right now in the background. There we go. We got 119. Let it load up for a second. All right, so send it. Okay, so we got an interpreter session open. That's awesome. Beautiful way for the interpreter session to actually give us a show back in just a second. It'll pop back to the same interpreter right down here. Give it a little bit of time. Give it a few seconds, I guess. There we go. So instead of just using the interpreter show, I'm going to actually drop into a normal privileged TTY show kind of by just typing in show right there. Go and get the actual Python command that I'll need. Yeah, right there. There we go. Take that right there. Python. So now we're in a nice little show. It doesn't just say interpreter. It says like everything WW data. That's the user we are right now. So let's go and do go ahead and do ls la. Boom. Just looking down, we see flag one is already right here. So let's go ahead and cat out flag one. Flag one.txt. Cat that out. All right. So it says every good CMS needs a config file, and so do you. So that means you need to look for a configuration file within this machine. So let's go ahead and check the sites right here. So we're gonna cd into sites real quick and ls and see what's in there. So we see default right here for default. So it's probably default configuration. Let's go with CD into there and check and see what's in there. CDLS. So we see settings.php right here. So let's go ahead and 
less that out right there less settings.php boom 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 dot php typed it in wrong press enter again all right so right here we see databases so we're done with the database that we have a username and password username being db user and password being rocket for mysql so let's go ahead and note that just in case i probably gonna use that right now but note that so i don't forget db user don't type that in right yeah, there we go db user rocket boom there we go i could have just copy and pasted it. i don't know why i did it, it would have been way simpler so database mysql call that right there boom note that so let's go ahead and log into mysql enter again press enter press enter oh it's gonna take forever let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom it's not even gonna let us let's press enter multiple times get all the way there we go okay so let's go ahead and mysql we'll go dash u db user there we go and then dash p and i'm not gonna enter anything since it's asked for the password again like that right there we'll enter rocket as the password there we go so now we're logged into mysql so let's go ahead and show the databases that are present do, 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 da, databases didn't type it in right there we go so we're going to use this drupal db database right here so we're going to go ahead and select let's select yeah, select right here my bad it's actually use use drupal db and we'll call that right there so now we're using that database let's go ahead and show the tables that are there so now based off my previous experience with drupal i know that everything is usually listed inside the nodes or the node so we're going to go ahead and select everything from node within the mysql database so do select star to select everything within there from node and then we'll go ahead and list it out so we see the ids ids type so it's on the page it's going to be on page and we see title so flag three and main these are actual title like pages within the drupal site so you see flag three is listed on the drupal site so i'm going to need, need to log into drupal to actually get this flag so first thing i'm going to do actually is log out of mysql so i'll just do a quick exit right there there we go out of mysql and then we're going to use the drush which is a cli or command line interface tool for uh, for Drupal so we can actually log in there and change commands and change passwords and username and admin stuff So I actually have this command saved because I use Drupal a lot Go ahead and look for Drupal real quick or oh, yeah, there we go drush right here Copy that command right there There we go press enter and what that command is doing right there is saying drush user your password changing the username of admin I mean the username admin Changing their password to admin. So now we can log in with default credentials um, Admin and admin which make it super simple we go ahead and see that third flag and keep on moving with this box so we'll just give it a second to load. It's gonna go ahead and communicate with the server, tell it's changed, and then we can log in. So let's go ahead and make sure the site's actually pulled up. There we go, admin, admin, give it a second, hopefully. There we go, probably typed in admin wrong, let me make sure. There we go, admin's typed in right. There we go, so it says change password for admin, so now we should be able to log in. So let's go ahead and check it real quick. There we go, log in, give it a second. No, we don't wanna save the password, Firefox. Thank you though. So give it a second you know it says welcome to drupal site no front page content has be cre been created yet powered by drupal that's awesome let's just get into the system you know give it a second the drupal site is kind of slow okay yeah boom we are logged in with the default controls, credentials that we entered admin and admin that's awesome let's find some content see what content they got on the site give it a second to load again this drupal site is kind of low that does suck in slow mean all right so we see admin fred okay that's really weird let's go ahead and see what's on fred stuff See what's on Fred stuff. Let's see. Fred. Okay, that's weird. Edit. All right, let's go ahead and find some more content. Honestly, because I'm pretty sure it's just gonna say admin. Um, it's gonna say flag right there. Cause I don't think we need to see all this stuff right here. That's weird. Let's go ahead and say admin right here. Give it a second to load. Edit. Okay. Dashboard. Give it a second again. All right, there we go. So it took forever. I don't know why it took forever. It took us to main and Fred instead of admin and flag three. So we have flag three right here. Let's go ahead and click on flag three in the recent content. Give it a second to load up right now. This Drupal site, there we go. So it says flag three. Special perms will help find the password, but you'll need the tech exec that command to work out how to get what's in the shadow. So like multiple things sticker right here. There's like two ways the user or the actual creator of the box is trying to tell us stuff right now. First thing we're saying is special permissions are gonna be needed ex be needed exploited in order to get like the root 
flag. So it says special permissions will need to be used to help find. So we're going to use this find command right here, of course, and then use attack exec command along with that in order to actually let things flow. And so it says in the shadow. So that would be slash etc slash password, like that file right there. So first thing we're going to go do is cat that out. So go ahead and cat out slash etc slash password boom and so we see down here right at the bottom we see a directory with flag 4 let's go ahead and look what's new see what's in there let's go and cd slash home actually we can just cat that out right there we can't because it's a directory so let's go ahead and cd in there cd slash home slash flag 4 and then we'll do ls right there so you see flag 4.txt right there so let's go ahead and cat out the flag 4 flag 4.txt boom so it says can you use the same method to find or access the flag in root probably but perhaps it's not that easy or maybe it is so honestly all we got to do is use a find command so i'm thinking there might be a misconfiguration with the sued or the suid file so let's go ahead and look for that real quick search for sued on my file notes where there we go use this command right here so basically what this command is doing is finding misconfigurations that would allow you to become root on this machine so you got the basic mount ping su ping six unmount all that kind of stuff at but the biggest thing that sticks out is fine right here because as denoted by the creator of this box the fine command is misconfigured so we definitely going to use that so we're going to go to gtfo bins which is an awesome awesome resource to help you figure out stuff gtfo bins real quick check that out we'll look for the command find so we got fine right there so let's go ahead and try for sudo because it's sudo you know you want to become the root user copy and paste that in there so it says sudo the sudo command is not on this machine so you can try and use a shell command actually instead because you can see the dash the dash exec to just like all these right here enter that so now you have the hashtag coming back which means we're probably our root let's go ahead and check who am i we are the user root so let's go ahead and see what's in the root uh, root directory let's go ahead and ls slash root see what's in there all right so the final flag is in let's go ahead and cat the, cat the final flag out cat slash root slash the final flag yeah final flag dot txt and boom there's the final flag this machine is completed this is an awesome machine a big shout out to dc au7 awesome awesome machine if you like this video go ahead and like it turn on post notifications subscribe to this content <laughs> subscribe to this channel turn on post notifications so you can be alerted when the next video drops i'll be dropping another video this friday for dc2 that's all i got for you guys hack a little things have a good day bye bye